Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to sell digital stickers on Etsy. Not only will I be showing you how to list your digital stickers on Etsy, but I will also be showing you a platform which you can use to create digital stickers for completely free. For example, you can see I'm currently on an Etsy listing. And this person is selling a package of 60 stickers for $1.20. And they are getting quite a good amount of views and also a good amount of sales. And if we were to go onto a general page right here and type in digital stickers, you can see that there are numerous listings and all of them tend to be getting purchases. So what you are going to do to create your digital sticker, you can open a new tab and you can go onto the platform by the name of Canva. So you are going to go onto canva.com. And this is a platform that you can sign up on and use for free. So you're going to create an account using your email address. After you have created your account, you're going to tap on the search bar at the top of the page and you can type in stickers. So you could type in stickers real quick. You can also be more specific and you could type in the type of sticker that you would like to use. So for example, Halloween is right around the corner. So let's say I were to type in Halloween sticker, so you can see it right there. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page. And there are numerous templates that you can choose from. Keep in mind, any one of the templates that you'll see with the crown that says Pro, that would mean that you'd have to be a paid subscriber on Canva to use that particular template. Let's say we were to select this one, then tap on Customize this template. After you have selected customize this template, you could add in your own personal touches. So for example, I could change the text. So let's say I were to change the text just for example sake. You can change the text, you can change the color, you can do anything to customize it to your liking. Then you would tap on add page as we are going to be going off the example that we see right here. So let's say for example, instead of 60, printable stickers will just be offering four in our package for the sake of time. So you'll go over to the left hand menu option once more, tap on design, then from there you can select a sticker, let's say that one, then we'll tap on add page, hover over design, and we're going to be selecting another one. Then we'll tap on add page once more, hover over design, and I'm going to select another sticker. So let's say for example sake, Let's see the Halloween stickers right here. And let's say we were to select this one. So after adding the stickers, you can customize it and add your own personal touches. Now it is time to show you how you'll be able to list it. To list it, the first thing you will need to do is tap on share in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on share, from there you're going to tap on see all. After tapping on see all, from here you can tap right where you see template link. After you have tapped on template link, you could tap on create template link and you could copy this. And this is the link that persons are going to be provided with, which they can quickly click on and then from there they can print a sticker. So for example sake, if I were to paste this in a new tab, so let's say I were to paste it in this tab right here and they don't have to have a Canva account or anything like that. Once they have pasted in the link, they'll be redirected to a page just like this, on which they'll be able to view all of the digital stickers. Once they have viewed it, if they would like to download it, all they'll need to do now, they are going to tap on Edit Template. And once they have tapped on Edit Template, they could tap on Share in the top right hand corner, and then tap on Download. And what I recommend you do in the PDF that you will be giving them. And if we were to go back to the example listing, you can see that they were provided with a PDF. On the PDF that they'll be receiving, you can quickly explain that all they'll need to do is tap on share or save in the top right hand corner. And then from there, they can tap on download. So you could do that right there. As you can see, they have similar instructions right here. Your files will be available to download once payment is confirmed and you'll be getting it in a PDF format as you can see right there. So this is basically the layout. Now to add it to the PDF is quite straightforward. All you'll need to do is go back to Canva's homepage. 
once on canvas home page from here you can simply tap on right here where you see custom size after selecting custom size you can select any one of these template layouts so for example sake let's say we were to select docs and we'll just select doc right there after you have done that all you'll need to do now you can paste in the link so you could for example say click here to download and then you could type in the rest of information and then you'll select the text after you have selected the text you're going to tap on the link icon and you're going to paste in the link that we have copied then you will tap on done so now this is clickable and from here we'll simply drag this to the middle of the page after you have done that you'll tap on share in the top right hand corner then you'll tap on download and from there you want to ensure that you have selected pdf and you're going to tap on download once more now that you have done this if we were to open the pdf file you can see how it looks and once they receive the pdf once they tap on the link they'll be redirected to this page on which they'll be able to get their stickers now to upload it what you'll need to do after you have created your sticker listing you will need to create a mock-up image so you can see the mock-up image example that they have right here to create a mock-up image example you could use canva also so for example sake you could go over to the left hand menu option once you're on canva home page tap on apps after selecting apps from here you're going to simply scroll down and you're going to select mockups after selecting mockups you can see the different mockup templates that you can choose from and let's say for example sake we were to just select book so we'll type in book and you can see right there square books soft book hardcover book and let's say for example we were to select square books and you can see the different options so you could select any one of these mockups and then you'll just add a few of the sticker images just like what you see right here and you'll be able to use that for your listing and to list it once on etsy you will simply tap on the shop manager icon in the top right here top right hand corner then you're going to select digital files after selecting digital files you could tap on category and you could type in sticker then you'll select stickers after selecting stickers you can see who made it and you say i did what is it and it is a finished product when was it made you'll tap right there and you can select recently who is the digital content created for how is this digital content created and you can select created by me then after doing that you will tap on save and continue once you have tapped on save and continue from here you'll be able to add in a title for the product and you can also add the mock-up images as i showed you earlier and this is where you'd add your pdf so you'll tap on add right there and you'll see the pdf right here but before adding it we're going to rename it so let's change the pdf name so we'll select right here and we're going to tap on rename and let's change the pdf name so for example we'll just call it test and we're going to be deleting this so we'll call it test pdf as it should be a long name it should be a short name and we'll tap on enter then we'll tap on open and you can see it has been added right there after you have done that you could add in your description and then you can scroll down and set your price and you can also set the quantity and then you'll tap on save and continue and that's basically it hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe